Welcome to Connected World, a podcast created for engineers to learn about the latest technology trends, creating a safer, sustainable, productive, and connected future. Hello and welcome to Connected World, a podcast from the experts at TE Connectivity. I'm Tyler Kern, and we are thrilled to have you along for this episode of the show, everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of home and small appliances with our subject matter expert, Amy Smith. She's a business development manager for the Americas at TE Connectivity. Amy, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. Well, Amy, I'm excited to dive into this with you because this is obviously uh, an area where there are so many innovations. There are so many things happening right now. But let's start off talking about some of the trends. Uh, What are some of the trends you're seeing in small home appliance market right now? And tell me a little bit more about um, just the direction you see things moving and, and what's happening. Yeah, there, there's a lot of trends happening right now, but the, the biggest trend we see in the small home appliance market right now is the demand for increased features and functions. Um, these features and functions are being really driven by the consumers, and it's really coming from the need for this user experience to be a priority. The trend for new features and functions is, is seen in a lot of areas like wanting enhanced charging capabilities, ease of interacting with the user interface, uh, increased sensing capabilities, better power supply, and, and a lot more. We're also seeing this market shift towards the need for smaller and more portable devices. Both of these trends, um, the added features and functions and the need for smaller, more portable devices are making selecting components more challenging because you're working within a smaller space constraint, the components are becoming more critical to the overall function and and design of the small appliance. Man, you you hit some great points there. And and my follow-up question was going to be, you know, what are consumers looking for these days and how is that driving the trends and innovations you're seeing? You kind of spoke to that a a little bit, but but specifically, what how are how have consumer behaviors maybe evolved over the last year, maybe a little bit longer, um, so that you're seeing some of these trends and some of seeing some of these things uh, develop within this market? Yeah, so the the trends we're seeing that like I said in the market are really being driven by the consumers. For example, consumers want a unique user experience, and and this usually means that small appliance manufacturers need to add these features and functions to their products and create a differentiation of their product in the market while still keeping reliability and quality at the top of mind. Consumers are really driving the demand of these added features and functions. Um, For example, if you look at robotic vacuums, you know, it's a, it's a new technology a few years ago, but once it was more widely adopted into the market, the consumers started to drive the expectations and really accelerated the demands of the user experience they wanted for robotic vacuums. For example, there's become an increased want for increased battery life of your robotic vacuum. Consumers want their vacuums to stay charged longer so it can vacuum the whole house without needing to be recharged. The same idea can be seen in other smart home appliances. And as consumers demand more functions, it can leave design engineers with a lot of unique challenges of adding these additional component requirements and still having the small space constraint that they had before or even smaller. So consumers want a reliable and lasting product. So the added components needed for these additional features need to work with the whole system to enable these features, but not compromise reliability. So the consumers are really going to continue to drive these demands. It, it's going to be a continued need for increased features and functions. It's, these features and functions are going to change over the years, but they're going to be the continue. They're going to be the ones that are driving um, this acceleration. Yeah, that's a that's a great point. That, that people want these functions. They want that uh, personalization that they can create, and they want it all in in the same size package, right? And things aren't getting sm- uh, bigger these days. Things are getting smaller, more compact. People want, uh, you know, if you look even just over at the uh, at a different example of, say, cell phones, people want better cameras, but thinner phones, right? And so uh, there's a challenge there. And it's much the same in the home appliance market, right? You, you People want these functions and these features, but they want it all to be, you know, the same size. So that you, you outlined the challenge for engineers there really well, just that uh, they're now presented with this idea of, okay, we have to fit more into the same amount of space, right? Yeah, for sure. The the trend of these more features and functions and the movement towards the smaller and more portable devices, it's created a a lot of challenges for the design engineers because they have to solve how are they going to get these features and functions into their applications. 
Um, so challenges from from these trends can be things like uh, what functions to prioritize, how to design in all the components that are going to be required to make these functions work, and how to find and choose smaller components without compromising the reliability and the performance of, of the components. This has created several pain points for those designing in this market. Um, one of the major pain points we hear often from our customers is the need for a miniaturization of components because due to the additional features, there's there's been a big challenge on si size constraints within these devices. They're working with either the same size PCB boards or smaller. There's a higher level of, of components needed within the, these applications now. With any design change and challenges, our, our customers still have the need or even an increased need for robustness and quality, while also recognizing that the products have to stay affordable for the market and, and fit within what they're looking for. That's a really great point, you know, uh, fitting more into the uh, same amount of space, miniaturizing components, all very, very good points and all very crucial to, uh, to achieving success in these areas. So, uh, Amy, tell me a little bit more about how TE can help engineers overcome these challenges and how you can work together to help solve the, solve the problem, solve the issues and, and help things move forward. These challenges really make it important to select the right components early in the design process and to be able to prioritize what components are critical in being used to support all the functions of the, of the system and of the application. We hear it often from design engineers that they need help designing for energy efficiency, cost effectiveness, uh, the portability of devices and other connected features that are being driven by these consumer demands. And they really value having TE, who is the connector expert, help them design for these challenges. TE's uh, broad portfolio of connectors has helped customers in the small appliance space in a variety of ways through helping with increased reliability, withstanding harsher environments, working within these tighter space constraints, and providing the, the global technical support throughout their whole design and production process. We're able to be a partner for our customers from design through production and, and really reduce that uncertainty of designing correctly for the needs and the wants of the consumers in the market. You know, by partnering with TE, we can help engineers identify exactly what parts and, and components would work best for the features they desire so they can better utilize their time instead of just searching online and through catalogs hoping to select the right part. You know, a component supplier like TE, we can help identify uh, the exact part that works best for their design. We've helped a lot of customers avoid over-engineering their designs, um, help them simplify their design process, and design for the efficiency and reliability they need. Um, we're able to give our, our partners um, insight in specific products or an integrated solution that may free up available space, improve performance and reliability, and really enhance the overall design. So it sounds like TE really takes a consultative approach where you're working together with your partners to find solutions. And it's not um, just a one and done kind of thing, but you, you, it's really a partnership and it's really working together to find the best possible outcomes. Yeah, that, that's 100% correct. We, we really value our partnerships with our customers and we want to make each experience that give and take partnership where we can help while hearing out the goals and the challenges that, that our customers are experiencing and helping to create the best design for, for what they're looking to do. It's really important to select the right components early in the design process because with the added features and functions in these, these new designs, even the simplest of connectors need to perform optimally with the electronics and the applications. It's important to partner with a connector supplier like TE who can help select the correct parts and to learn more about the type of connectors that can enable these, these features and functions instead of prohibiting the design. So by involving TE early and often in the design process, we can help our customers select the optimal part for not only the feature they're designing for at that exact moment, but really for the entire design architecture of their system. You know, you said something really interesting there that I wanted to touch on, and that was involving TE early and often. When is the best time to get TE involved and to have these types of conversations in the process, you know, in the design process and that sort of thing? Kind of talk me through when people should get uh, TE involved. 
the earlier the better to get your component supplier to get TE involved is best. Really, from the moment you know what features and functions you want to have added to your design, if we can be involved, that can really take away a lot of the challenges that come down the line of trying to fit the components that are needed into an already set design. If we can be involved from the beginning phase of when you know what feature you want to add, we can help simplify that design process, select the correct components, and really make the design challenges non-existent as they move forward through their design. What what tends to be the um, the issue maybe if, if TE gets involved later on in the process? Um, can, can there be uh, issues that, that, that pop up relating to uh, to connectors and, and things like that if if you wait a little bit too long to bring uh, you know bring expertise like what TE provides into the process? Yeah, then it, it can become the challenge of you know you're trying to fit a uh, a square peg into a round hole uh, type of situation where you don't have, you're going to have to be finding components that, that fit right into what you are, what you're working with, as opposed to finding something that really enhances your design and really solves the, what you're trying to do. You're going to be left with limited, um, a limited number of components that are going to work for what you're trying to do, which could mean it's more expensive or it doesn't do exactly what you're wanting, or it doesn't fit into the space that you have. Uh, by by getting TE involved early, we can make sure we're making the best selection for you. And like I said earlier, even the simplest of connectors that previously used to maybe be able to be designed in later, they really are a critical part of the overall performance of the electronic device now. And um, they need to be involved in that design process from the beginning. That's some fantastic insight, and I think fantastic advice for people as they move forward on on projects like this, and as they uh, look at the different challenges uh, that we outlined earlier. I think just uh, knowing that the earlier that TE is involved, the better. I think is is absolutely crucial. So, Amy, as we start to wrap up our conversation today, is there anything that else that you want people to know, or any summary statements you'd like to make just about the the small home appliance market in general and, and different things that uh, th- that go along with it? Anything else you'd like to share with us before we wrap up? This this episode? Yeah, I think just as the small appliance market continues to evolve and, and more technologies are introduced into this market, it's likely that the consumer driven trends and the timelines for these new products are going to continue to accelerate. There's definitely going to continue to be a need for more components within this tighter space constraint, and the demand for this miniaturization of these components is going to continue to be a priority. T really values creating this partnership with our customers so so we can work together to advance your designs and overcome the challenges you're experiencing so we can meet your needs. Uh, The team at TE can help support the small appliance market uh, and involving TE as the connector expert early in the design process and developing this partnership can help small appliance manufacturers really enhance their design and create that reliable and efficient product that we talked about. Some fantastic insight from Amy Smith from TE Connectivity here on the podcast. Amy, thank you so much for joining me today here on Connected World and sharing a little bit more about the small home appliance market and uh, the trends that you're seeing, the consumer uh, the consumer desires that are driving a lot of these trends, and how TE can really step in and help overcome these challenges. I really appreciate your insight and uh, I appreciate you joining me here on the podcast today. Thanks for having me. It's been great. And everyone, thank you for joining us here for this episode of Connected World. Remember, there are a lot of episodes of the podcast out there. So for more insights, for more uh, thought leadership from the folks at TE Connectivity, make sure to go back and check out some of those previous episodes of the podcast. We cover a lot of different industry and a lot of different uh, expertises here on the show. So make sure and go back and listen to those as well as subscribe to stay up to date with the latest insights from TE. We're going to be back soon with new episodes. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And like I mentioned, we're going to be back soon with new episodes so make sure that you're subscribed to stay up to date with the latest but until then i've been your host today tyler kern thanks so much for listening